Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Zax. He made his first appearance in Incredible Hulk, issue number 166, that was released in May of 1973. It also goes by the alias, The Living Dynamo. And at its maximum, it stands up to 40 feet tall, although this is variable. And ironically, it weighs zero pounds at all, which will become obvious in one minute. You see, Zax has no true corporeal body, basically being a sentient, psionically charged electromagnetic field. This field takes on a humanoid form that glows with a whitish yellow color and gives off the smell of ozone, similar to the familiar smell of an upcoming lightning storm. Now, Zax is composed purely of electricity, yet for various reasons, he can manipulate matter around him and he has vast superhuman strength, which increases as he absorbs more electrical power around him. He's also basically invulnerable, with it being very difficult to harm him at all. Not to mention him having moderate to low level vast energy projection, as well as moderate superhuman speed. Oh, he can also fly, which expresses itself more as a slow hover, as well as have unlimited stamina which makes sense if you think about the fact that he's electricity. Now, the fact that Zax is actually composed of extremely high voltages makes it possible for him to incinerate basically anything in his path, as well as incinerate entire city blocks at one time. His energy levels are powerful enough that he can also burn the Hulk's skin, which we know is very difficult to do since the Hulk has extreme durability. And although Zax was capable of absorbing psionic energy from nearly everyone around him, he could not absorb psionic energy from his ongoing nemesis, the Hulk. Although if he was charged and powerful enough, he could temporarily take control of the electrical impulses of the Hulk's nervous system, which briefly gave him control over the Hulk's muscles. I also have to note that Thunderbolt Ross's consciousness was the only one strong enough to supplant Zax's as the dominant one controlling Zax's physical form. This occurred after General Ross submitted to a secret shield experiment to infuse him with some of Zax's living energy. Ross's personality is just so strong because he's a stubborn one. Now, the origin of Zax itself stems back to an accident that occurred at the Consolidated Edison nuclear power plant when a group of heavily armed assailants attempted to shut down the power plant for New York City. Their attack led to an explosive chain reaction in the atomic reactor that created this psionically charged electromagnetic field. And as this form grew, it would incinerate those people who stood in its way and absorb the electrocyonic fields generated by their brains and acquired a slight human intelligence each time. It would quickly begin to think on its own and become self-aware, even developing basic speech and would name itself Zax as an imitation of the electromagnetic sound that it created when it moved. From there, it would go on to take out even more people, growing in intelligence each time. It would unfortunately also derive a pleasure from absorbing people's consciousness, which would lead Zax on a murderous campaign to increase its intelligence and get that high. Zax would go on to clash with several different heroes, including Hulk, Hawkeye, and Wonder Man, not to mention his bouts with Thunderbolt Ross. And despite Zax seemingly being destroyed or dissipated on several different occasions, it would always find a way to reconstitute itself at some point in the future. I guess matter and energy can't be created or destroyed. Now, for its powers and abilities and its influence on the Marvel Universe, for my one to 10 rating, I'll give Zax a rating of six, which is an expert rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new sage.